So with the US Open fast approaching, only 24 hours away until we get underway for the first round matches. We've got some big names that have pulled out last minute. Since the draw has come out a couple of days ago, let's go have a look at who else has pulled out. So on the women's side, we start with Shelby Rogers. She's pulled out. Krunich, Song, McNally's pulled out. Simona Halep, of course, is still provisionally suspended, so she won't be playing. Perla Badosa's pulled out, of course. Hasn't played for the majority of the year because of a back problem. She's actually not going to play for the rest of the season now, so she's pulled out. And Bianca Andreescu is also pulled out of the US Open, of course, former champion back in 2019. Not sure what's up with Bianca, but if you do know, let me know down in the comments below. But she won't be playing this year's US Open. On the men's side, Ema, he's actually retired from tennis after being suspended. Struff is also out. Kyrgios, of course, injured for the majority of this year. Krinja Busta also injured. Opelka, Chilic, Shapovalov, and Batista Agu are all out of this one due to injury, but there's some big names there. I mean, former champions, Chilic, Andrescu, both not playing. Kyrgios, of course, we haven't seen all year. He's been so much fun. Well, last year, especially at the US Open, he was so much fun to watch. Beat Medvedev along the way. So there it is. That is the latest withdrawal list as of 24 hours out from the US Open. Some big names there and some late withdrawals as well. Not really surprised that Pedrosa pulled out. But there are players that are going into the US Open with some injury concerns. Of course, Runa, he had a back problem a couple weeks ago. Rabakina has a shoulder problem. There's a foot problem for Ange Burr. So they're playing at this stage. We'll see how much tennis they actually play because they could play the first round and then call it quits if they're in too much pain. But let me know down in the comments below. Who are you going to miss the most out of the players that are not playing? Of course, Rafa is also on that list. Technically, he didn't withdraw because he was ineligible because of his ranking. And of course, he wasn't going to come back anyway. I don't think Rafa's going to come back until the start of next year. But some big names there not playing the US Open, which starts in 24 hours.